Hey there, I'm your host Lesoe, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a brand new world from the very beginning using Unreal Engine 5. The first thing you want to do, go to games and create a blank project. I'm going to call my project New World. Once you have done this, you can enable the starter content pack, but I won't do it because later in the video, I'm going to show you how to use the Epic Games uh, Store to download asset packs, which you'll be able to use in your projects. So we can hit create. Once your project has loaded up, we can go to our content drawer by clicking on it or holding control and space to open it up. Inside of here, we can right click and create a new blueprint called level. So I will call it new world. And every time we open this project, we want this world to show up. So if we go to our settings, project settings, if we go to maps and modes inside of here, we will see the new world we just created. So select that and you can exit out of this. And if we double click, we can open our world. So once you open this up, you will get a blank screen. That's because there's nothing here yet. So in selection mode, Go to landscape mode and we can see the outline of the world so i will make it a little bit smaller and then we can you don't need to change anything else here we can hit create so again everything is blank so if we go back to our selection mode and if we see the white square with the green plus click on this if we go to lights we can create a directional light so again, we want some more things in here, more properties. So if we go here and add a skylight. Now we will go here again and in visual effects, we'll add a post process volume. We can add a sky atmosphere. Then again, a volumetric cloud. And by the way, all of these are in visual effects, except for the lights. And we want a exponential height fog. So this will hide all the darkness in the back and it will give us a nice blue sky. So once this is done, if we go to our direction light, we can go to mobility and select it to be movable. Then in our skylight, we can do the same for movable. And in real time capture, we will select this to be true. Then one more thing, we want to go to our post process volume. And in here, we can do cool things like changing the temperature, and stuff like this, like it'll totally look different uh, depending on what you do here. So metering mode enabled, exposure compensation enabled, and go to manual. So if we select this value, we can change to how dim or light uh, bright our world is. But at the moment, you don't see any changes take place because it's happening inside the square. So scroll down and select infinite extent unbound to be true. Now we can see the changes take place. So I will select a value of 10.5 because I think it's good. And to show you changing temperature and stuff like this, if we scroll down temperature, select this to be true, select this to be true as well. Hot temperature and for example, we can make an icy world like this. But I'm not going to use this for the moment. And I just want to show you how to create some textures on the floor how to use some textures on the floor with the asset packs we're going to download and create maybe a few mountains and a lake. So go to your Epic Games Launcher. So once you're inside your Epic Games Launcher, go to the Marketplace. And inside the Marketplace, if you go to Free and Permanently Free Collection, inside of here, you'll find a lot of free assets which you can use for your projects. I'm going to use the stylized Eastern Village asset pack for this project. So I already have it downloaded, so I'll find it in my library. So stylized Eastern Village pack, add to project. And if I find the project I want, which is New World, you can add to project. Once the asset pack you want is added to your project, simply open the content drawer, go to the asset pack find materials, go to landscape materials, and inside you will find something called an MI landscape. So this is material instance, a landscape, and we want to apply this to our landscape. So if we click on this, or we can click on it in the directory, if we find something called the landscape material, we can search for it, or we can open up our content drawer and simply just drag it in there. 
So I want this material, material instance, and dragon engine. So everything will go black, but that's okay. Let's go to our landscape mode and paint. And inside you'll find the textures. So click the white plus white blended layer normal and save. So do this for all the textures you will be using in your world. I'm going to do it for all the textures. I want to use them all. And once you have done that, we can select any of those. So for example, the auto texture and we can paint in our world. We have different settings as brush size, tool strength, and we can use all of those to change the, change the options when we're painting. So for example, the auto layer, what it'll do if we go to our sculpt and sculpt tool, if we make a small mountain, you'll see it'll, if, when it's too steep, it'll create a dirt or rock-like texture. But if we use a different paint texture, for example, grass, it'll simply ignore the fact that it's too steep and we'll just paint over grass. So we can use other sculpt tools such as erase to destroy any changes we've made using the sculpting tools. We can use a sculpt or uh, smooth tool to uh, make this a little bit less edgy, like so. And we can use the flatten tool to go from our height and uh, that we have selected and it'll just drag on like so. So that's all the tools you'll be using uh, for creating your worlds. There's other tools that are a little bit different. So if we revert all the changes, I'm going to show you how to create a lake. So I'll just paint over with some sand like so. And once I'm in here, I will go to my sculpt tool. And if I hold shift and press the left mouse button, it'll do a little hole for me. So if I use the flatten tool, I can do something like that. You don't have to do this. And we can smoothen out the, the edges so they're not so sharp. Yeah, and that looks pretty nice. So we can put a lake over here. Some more sand like so. So to put a lake over here, we will go to our selection mode and content drawer inside of which we can create a new blueprint called an actor. So blueprint, actor blueprint. And this is great because you can set different options to your water, such as physics, and you can add a post-process volume to change the color when you're inside the water. So I'll call it BP underscore water. And if we go inside, over here, we can add something called a cube. And we can make this to be a water texture. So mi underscore water. And I will make it a little bit smaller. So 0 0.1 is good for me. I'm going to compile and save. And if we exit from here, we can simply drag in our water, uh, raise it a little bit. And if we press the R tool, we can scale it up. So I want it to be this big and I'll just put it in place. And there you go, guys. We just created a little lake of water. So that's going to be it for the tutorial. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.